In this video, I'll demonstrate how to recover data from a corrupted Microsoft Access database using a tool, Stellar Recovery for Microsoft Access. Stellar has a variety of tools for recovering data for both Windows and pictures or iPhone recovery software and SD cards, email and file repair as well. In this video, I'm going to focus primarily on the Access Database Repair software. So this is a powerful tool that is widely trusted by admins and users worldwide to repair Microsoft Access databases and recover data from those databases. It works on Office 365, 20, uh, Access 2019, 2016, 2013, and even prior versions of it. So I have these two databases. And I'm, uh, let's suppose I try to open it. And typically, when the database is corrupt, uh, this is what the message will look like. If I go and open my other database, it will be the same scenario as well. To fix this, I'd need this Stellar Repair for Microsoft Access. And again, you can download this for free from StellarInfo.com and also purchase it from online. So once it has been downloaded, in my case also have activated it, all I need to do is open the application and then browse for the database that I want to repair. So locate the corrupt file. And here is my database. Click on repair. It says it has been repaired successfully. Click OK. Now, once this has been repaired, the next thing you need to do is click on save the database. If you have not activated the software, you'll not be able to repair it until you have purchased the activation. So to activate it, you can do it from here under the activation area and then uh, the activation option right there. Now that the, the database has been repaired, I click on save database and then we are going to save it in a new location. I'll save it on the desktop. I'll create a new folder called access. Click OK. And once that process has finished, notice it's still saving the file. So you need to check the progress on the bottom here. You will also notice that it's not finished yet because you still have the stop or the stop button up here. Now the process may take quite a bit of time, so you kind of need to be patient for it until it finishes and you are presented with a message similar to this. So you click OK once the file has been saved. Close the Stellar Repair for Access. And then here under Recovered Access Files Recovered on the desktop, this is the file that I have where I stored the repaired database. I'll go ahead and double click on it and it should open up. So I hope you found this helpful. For more information, I suggest you go to StellarInfo.com. Now, if you also want to learn more as to how to use databases, and design the database and understand how databases in Microsoft Access work, please check in the description area of this video. There's a link to the full course, and it's free on how to use Microsoft Access. I hope you found this helpful, and uh, please, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share it in your social media. Mm -hmm.